Michelle. I'm Jazz. And welcome to the Ready for College Cooking Show! The show where we make lots of yummy food um, and you subscribe because Jazz needs to go to college. And college is expensive. Very much. Today, so. we are going to do something really fun. You explain? It's so we're doing vegan cheesecake, but unlike any normal person who looks up a recipe like, I'm going to go do vegan cheesecake and get a vegan cheesecake recipe, I actually have a cheesecake recipe that I've made many times before. Um, it's it New York's award winning. <laughs> it's yeah. an award winning at the <laughs> LA County Fair. It's an award winning recipe. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good cheesecake. It's a New York, New York style cheesecake. Um, so I, we're, I'm transferring the recipe to be vegan. So instead of using cream cheese, we have vegan cream cheese. Uh, and we have egg replacer for the eggs because it requires five packages of eight ounce packages of cream cheese and five eggs plus two egg yolks. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna see how this turns out. It might turn out terribly. None of this is sponsored. <laughs> this is stuff that we like to use. So the first thing um, we're going to do is make a crust. How did my fist pack? Oh, you moved it. I moved it. So we're going to make a crust. We're using Panda Pops. We're not. Okay. This, my recipe does have, we're using, what is this? Betty Crocker's Betty Crocker cookbook. Betty Crocker cookbook. Betty Crocker's cookbook. And it, it also not sponsored. <laughs> but we're not doing her crust recipe just because it, to save time. And Panda Puffs are really yummy. Are vegan. They are. They are vegan. So I'm going to um, put the Panda Puffs in here and crunch them up. If, if there are any left in the box. And um, <laughs> and Jazz is going to prepare. Oh, do you want to talk about the pan? Oh, yeah. Here. Um, so when you're making cheesecake, it's best to use a springform pan. Which we're going to have to clean that up later. The dog will get it. <laughs> So basically, with cheesecake, it's just easier to use a springform pan. And you have your bottom and you have your top. Um, and you just click it on together like this. Once it bakes, you just go bloop, and now you have cake. Uh, it's just really easy. You can use it for any cake, actually. It's not just cheesecake. But most of the time you use it for cheesecake. Most of the time. Okay, so <laughs> you're gonna do prepare that and you need butter. Oh, you need the butter. butter. So we're using um, this vegan butter that is ridiculous. It is this, delicious. This one's in a bag because we keep our vegan butter gluten free, so we don't want to make sure it gets any um, crumbs. So that's why it's in a bag. But it's actually this butter here. It's delicious. We love it. So. And then I'm going to go ahead and put the pan puffs in my food processor. Freeze in the pan, just make sure that it doesn't get... This, look what happened! Ooh. What is that? Ooh. What is that? Don't... Oh. Uh -huh. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> like it, like it. How do you know that was okay to eat? Okay, so we just had um, an extra... <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Jazz just stuck in it. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna... I have no idea how much Panda Puffs I just put in there. <laughs> like, Jazz is gonna choke to death. That's why you shouldn't just eat things. That's why you just don't put things in your mouth when you <laughs> see them. You have to like... Okay, anyway. Maybe Jazz will pass out. Because Jazz ate too much of that... Who knows? Oh, oh, that's so much Who knows what that was? It could have been like peanut butter. It could have been molasses. It could have been I don't know. It could have been actual panda parts. We don't know. But Jazz ate it. Okay, so I'm gonna chop this up. I didn't measure how much I put in here. I shook it out. It looks. If I'm gonna eyeball it, I would say like a maybe cup a, a cup and a half. So here it goes. Okay, so oh, before you pull that out, what? I was explaining, greasing the pan just helps make sure nothing gets stuck to the pan. So you know when you watch like cooking shows and their cake gets all crumbled apart because it got stuck in the pan? That's why you grease your pan so that doesn't happen. This is so funny because we, when we watch um, <laughs> some of our favorite cooking shows that we love so much um, that have fails on them. <laughs> Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. 
We scream at the people. All the time. We scream at them. We're like, <laughs> grease the pan! Grease the pan. Seriously, why yeah. can't you grease the pan? Or at least put parchment paper or something in. Yeah, so, parchment paper also. I've done that before um, for cheesecake as well. It, it's very useful. So some of these little didn't get crunched up as well. Mm. So I'm like crunching them by my by hand. Well, actually not by hand. I'm crunching them by the fork. fork. And it's not doing a good job. Either. Maybe, Maybe I should just a spoon. Yeah. Mm. Just more the area that way. I feel like they're gonna pop up and hit me in the face. <laughs> Okay, so then, um, yeah, because they are popping up. They're popping out of the bowl. If they do it that way, they pop out. That's okay, the dog is going to get more to eat it this way. The dog is just standing right underneath me. You can't see him. You get the video of him standing underneath us, because um, that's the nose when no, we're cooking. That means there's food around, and it might get some. It's not for you, happy. Puppy. Okay, so I'm gonna put in um, some of this. You use that all to grease it. Did you just like? Oh. I just want like this. I guess I can still eat. That's fine. You can still use it. Use it. Use it. Use it's just it. a pan. It's gonna eat it. So um, I don't. Again, I'm not measuring. We have a tendency to not measure things when we're cooking because we've been cooking for so long, and we can usually just measure by eye. I don't suggest and it. And with things like crusts, it's pretty easy just to figure it out. I don't suggest but it. But if you have never baked or cooked before, I don't recommend it. No, I don't recommend it. You'll get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to just... It didn't pull together as much as I wanted it to. But it to. did pull together a little. So, I don't know if, like... The objective here is to make kind of a, um, a paste. Or Usually uh, with graham cracker crust, it, you just like dough, you'll be able to form it into a ball. So that's the objective. So we're gonna put some more. And in basically, there. just add as much butter as you need to make a ball, but not too much. Well, I mean, if you add too much, you can just add some more panda buffs. I guess you could. Yeah. Or other or other or stuff. Whatever we could put flour. We could do a little flour. I think that might be good. I feel like it's getting it like good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Oh yeah, it's totally oh, yeah. good. That's good. It's totally good. Okay, so we move our. I am going to pop the sides on just because graham cracker crusts, or in this case, panda crust, crusts, can tend to be messy. I mean, I guess we could just. No, 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 no. I, I think you should do it the way you were. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's still going to be crumbly and messy. Yeah. Unlike a regular crust, so I think leave it at. So basically, with graham cracker crust, they do. You have to press it down, and unlike a regular dough where you can just roll it out and just spread it, that's might be too much. Too much? We'll no, because we're doing like a small we'll layer. We're, we're, do, we're just doing a small layer. I was actually thinking um, maybe I didn't do it too little. little. Um, basically, with graham cracker crust, you just have to pat it down into the pan. That's it. Um, it's really easy. It's really really easy. And there's chunks of butter in here. There's chunks of butter because I put too much too, too butter. Too it's little. cool. So let's just let's it's not do gonna cover the entire pan. It's gonna be just a minimal crust because I didn't measure. This um, smells very peanut buttery, so yeah, I'm kind of glad that I didn't put more because that I think would be peanut butter cereal. What did you expect? I didn't expect it to smell so peanut buttery. That chunk that fell out was the peanut butter. <laughs> That yeah, this should just taste like puffs. Anyways, increase our oven temperature to 450. 450. 450. 450. That's a whole hundred degrees more than 350. Okay, got it. Okie dokie. So now what happens? Now we need our cream cheese, sugar. Um, so I've had my cream cheese sitting out for what, maybe 15 minutes. More, more. Mm -hmm. Just to soften. Um, but it's not fun to use unsoftened cream cheese. <laughs> um, it's so sweet. Cream cheese, which, um... You still need to soften it. Okay. Do you want a spoon or with the spatula? The spatula will probably be okay. No. Let me use a spoon first. Um, tofuti is possibly the best regular cream cheese 
regardless of vegan or not, that I've ever eaten. Not sponsored, but it is. It's not sponsored, it's just really yummy. Um, we have lots of things that we like that we're just going to tell you about. Yeah. We like them, we're just going to tell you about them. It's and not sponsored. They're not sponsored. We really, we just really like them. Like them. So while you're doing that, should I should prepare the vegan egg? Yeah. Okay. So um, follow those instructions on the vegan egg to make five eggs. Follow the instructions on the vegan egg yeah. to make mm -hmm. five. Let me glasses. get my reading glasses. Okay. One them. egg is two tablespoons and half a cup of water, and you whisk you whisk it vigorously. So I got all my things here. So. So that is how many um, eggs do you need? Five eggs. Five eggs. Yeah. Okay, so so you're gonna need um, ten, two and a half cups of water. Wait, for, I, I need two and a half cups of water yeah, and ten, ten I'm, tablespoons. I'm starting with the the dry. Okay, you okay. need ten tablespoons. Ten tablespoons. We've never used vegan egg before. We usually use um, the energy egg replacer. That's this stuff. Also not sponsored. We're trying something new. Yeah. Three. Don't lose count. Four. Ten. Um, that's a very strong smell. I don't know what to tell you. It's a very strong smell. It's good that this is in smell -o vision This is what five packages uh, five eight ounce packages of Tofuti cream cheese looks like. And guess what? It's also very similar to what five packages of regular cream cheese look like. Two cups of water. It's not gonna fit in that bowl. It will. Two and a half, you said? Two and a half. This is a half cup for every one egg. This, you'll notice, has no um, numbers on it, but I just believe that this is a half cup. Yeah. I believe in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to mix this together. Even though Jazz thinks it won't work fit, I think it will fit. It's such a small bowl that you're using. You have to whisk it vigorously. I'm whisking vigorously. So I'm putting one and three quarters cup of sugar into my cream cheese. Three tablespoons of flour. Three. Now, because this is gluten-free flour, I'm gonna go grab a little bit of xanthan gum to sprinkle in as well. Oh, xanthan gum on the table. Here. Oh, we have. Do we have an open bag in the fridge? No. <laughs> so we store our xanthan gum in the fridge. Um, it's just what we choose to do because we live in a climate that's really warm. Apparently, it says it on the bag. Jason is indicating that I don't know what I'm talking about. It says store in a cool, dry place. So, there you go. You I'm just doing talking about. a slight... Stay out of our video, man. It's a, it's a... I don't know how much I used. I just wrinkled it in because I don't know what the portion is. I just guess. I'm mixing this together. Um, again, I it's not... It's it not... I don't know. A quarter I, of a teaspoon. Do you have a quarter out? A quarter? No, I don't have a quarter of a teaspoon out. We have lots of teaspoons. <laughs> and with, you know we don't have a lot of those jazz that we what? should get? Mixing cups. Mixing cups? Yeah, we only have our two, like, um, Pyrex, one, the one that has no numbers, which is always a challenge to no, use. My favorite salt always has a number. And, what? Your no, favorite what? My favorite salt that's easier to pour, you put at the top. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to get down for you? No, it's okay. I mean, you can't reach it either. I have a step ladder. Yeah, well, I could get the step ladder and then I would be able to reach it. I said I'm taller than you are, so. No, you're not. You're taller by one inch. More than one inch. I'm wearing Doc Martens right now, so we are the same height. I am just standing normally, <laughs> so you can yeah. see how much taller I am. <laughs> so I just want to point out that you said it wouldn't fit and yeah, that doesn't count because that barely fits at all. This, it, and but I also it fits. Need, right. It fits in that. Barely. Room. No, it fits. Barely. It's not barely. It fits. Barely. I need two egg yolks. So we're going to do that with so the, um, we're going to do that with the egg replacer. Okay, so I'm going to um, egg replacer's instructions for egg yolks are. No, I need you to do um, half a tablespoon. No. 
one tablespoon and two tablespoons of water. One tablespoon and how many inch more? Two tablespoons of water. Now I want one tablespoon of egg replacer mixed with two tablespoons of water. Okay, that makes two egg yolks. Here's my egg replacer. I'm putting one tablespoon. And I'm gonna start mixing this. And then wait, two tablespoons of water. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use my high rags right here. There's a little bit more, but it's good. So okay. as you start mixing this, it's you're gonna see why it's nice to have softened cream cheese and not nice hard cream cheese. Because it's hard to mix. Because it's a lot of cream cheese. Fine. I feel like this is like not enough water in this egg replacer though. It's not, you're not making a whole egg, you're making an egg yolk. Oh. And actually your tablespoons were really small. I didn't even You can add a little. Just a little. Okay. Because you're not making a full egg. Because you for a full egg, you would use half a teaspoon half a tablespoon to two tablespoons of water, but because this is just an egg yolk, you're using less. Oh, okay. This is our first time doing it like this with these products. So, well, we, our first time using the vegan egg. For sure. We've used the egg replacer before. Yeah, yeah, we've used egg replacer, but I've used it, actually, I, okay. I, I don't ever do it like this, though. So, now we're gonna add in our egg. Which ones? All of it. At once? Yeah, I need the whipping cream, too. Oh, let me get that. We have coconut whipping cream since this is vegan. Perhaps there's other types of whipping cream out there. I'm not this is the best sure. stuff in the world. It's so freaking delicious. How much of that? Only a quarter cup. This is what I'm talking about about like really a, ooh, Do you want to put all that goodness back in there? Yes. Because let me um, yeah, get this. Well, no, no, because that has other stuff on it. Oh, look at that creaminess. Woo, so delish. Okay, go for it. Also, just sort of measuring. That's about a quarter of a cup. Yeah, mix it out later. I'm striving with the cream. Mm, what should we do with the rest of that? Mm -mm, I don't know. Eat, it. Whip it. eat it. Actually, for this recipe, it wants to use the rest of the whipping cream to top it. Oh, okay, so we can mix it up yeah. and put it as a topping. So, go ahead and add the egg. Which, you want to do that? Let's do the egg. Sure. You know what? Can I use the spatula? Yes, because yeah. it will scoop out all the parts of it. Get all that. Goodness. Oh my goodness. You got it on the mixer. I'm gonna do some trying to make, minimize the mess. <laughs> it smells like Oh egg. my god, it does smell <laughs> it like smells egg. Like so what do we do after this is mixed up? After this is mixed up, we pour it in the pan. Okay. That's how it makes up. <laughs> so you pour it in the pan and then it goes into the oven? Yeah. It is really easy, Jess. <laughs> it's really, really easy. I don't know why people complain about cheese being, ooh, so long. It's not, it's really easy. It takes a long time and a lot of patience. Oh, did you put the vanilla, your lemon? No, because I didn't break it. Do you want me to grate it right now and just squish it in? I guess. This looks really nice. So do you want me to do it just in? No, I need a tablespoon. Oh, okay. I need a bowl. full tablespoon. I need a bowl. And I'll just zest it. Otherwise, this is done. And we can pour it into the hot pan. Thing. What's it called? Spring form pan. <laughs> this we got at the 99 cent store. Yes. Go to the 99. Not sponsored. But we, <laughs> love, but we love stuff, so we're going to tell you about the stuff we love. But seriously, go to the 99 cent store if you're yeah. trying to build stuff for your kitchen and you're just trying to like um, 
See, I'm a big believer in having the right tool. Yeah. Because cooking, half of cooking is fun. Um, the other half is having the right tools to have that fun. Ash basil. So, um, but sometimes the tools can be really expensive, especially if you're just starting out. So, yeah. and you'll be surprised if you have a 99 cents store or a dollar store by you. They have a lot of stuff. They have a lot of stuff. And then you can try it out and see if you like it and then maybe save up for the nice Big fancy one. Ones, yeah. And a lemon? Mm -hmm. I'm doing a good job grading this. I'm doing an awesome job of grading it. It's, it's good. Okay, right, Look take at it. all of these spots that are available for you to grade. Let's see if this is a tablespoon. It's close enough. It's good. There we go. A tablespoon. <laughs> Normally I would do this with orange as well, but don't have that, so. Okay, here we go. That's better. Perfect. Pouring. Beautiful. Oh, that looks great, actually. It, it looks really good. Can I start to scrape yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Wow. Get all of it. I could talk to. Wow. This looks delicious and wonderful. So who needs to look up a recipe? I can just change my own recipe. <laughs> this is pretty good. I mean, it looks like cheesecake mm -hmm. batter. Get all of it. Okay. Sheesh. You're missing so much of it. Wow. You're like serious about that. I get it. I love cheesecake. It's probably my third favorite cake. What's your first favorite cake? Um, it's a tie between tiramisu and Watergate cake. So what's number two? It's a tie between <laughs> tiramisu and Watergate cake. <laughs> So this is uh, <laughs> the same amount of cheesecake that I usually make with this recipe, with this um, texture. It's good. You know what I didn't do? I didn't prep the pan. Prep the pan? No. You cover it the bottom in foil, <gasps> and then you put it on a cookie sheet, so in case it leaks. Let's go get a cookie sheet. Is that an old cookie sheet? I mean, it's so old and scented. It's so like... <laughs> Well loved. Yeah. It's a well loved cookie sheet. I have batter everywhere. <laughs> you have batter everywhere. My arms keep touching me. I'm like, why is it wet? Oh, because I have batter everywhere. <laughs> so, there it is all wrapped. And you're just going to pop it on. Careful, because when you have a heavy cake and you're using a spring from pan, if you hold it just on the bottom, it will pop up and you'll make a huge mess. How do you know that, Jazz? Because I've accidentally done it before. But I didn't have cake powder. It just was there and I was messing around. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, oh, uh whoops. All right, so this goes into the oven at 450 for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then you reduce the temperature to 200 degrees and debate for an hour and 25. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Put it in the oven. Yay. The cake has been in the oven now, uh, well, Technically, it's been on the oven longer, but uh, it's been 15 minutes at 450, and then we brought it down to 200. Now it's been sitting in the oven for an hour and 25 minutes at 200, and we're going to see if it's good. If it's not, we'll put it back in the oven, and if it is, we'll also put it back in the oven, because then it will sit in the oven with the oven off for 30 minutes. Right, so I don't know why it sits in the oven for to 30 cool. minutes to cool. So it doesn't crack. So it doesn't crack. That's why it sits in the oven for 30 minutes. Behind you. So, ooh, this is good because it is still jiggly, but it is solid about two inches in. So you can see that it's still jiggly in the center, but on the edges it's stiffer. So now I'm, I turned off the oven. Can you open the door? Yeah. It's gonna sit in the oven for another. 30 minutes as the oven cool. Basically, that's so that there's no drastic temperature changes, otherwise it'll crack, because cheesecake is really sensitive. Granted, this is vegan cheesecake, so it might act a little differently. We've never done it, so we don't know. Welcome back. We are ready so, to see the cheesecake. We, I have, before 
we let it cool, and then before putting it in the refrigerator, I just ran a knife around the edge to make sure it wasn't stuck, because even though this is a spring form pan and you just bloop and pop it off, we still don't want it to be stuck to the sides. Um, and I covered it with foil. Sometimes it will con create condensation. Condensation? Condensation. Yeah. So you can just wipe it off, though. It looks delicious. It looks fantastic. It didn't crack at all or anything. I mean, I kind of broke it with my finger. Oh, you did? <laughs> Is that what that was, little finger? Yeah. Um, yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay. I like her music. <laughs> that was lovely. This looks fantastic. It looks beautiful. Look at that. Okay, cut it. Wow. Look at it's great. It held together really well. I was a little I have to say, I was a little curious. We'll say curious, yeah. Because I, because we didn't use egg, and I was, I wasn't sure how it was gonna hold together. But it looks like it's I mean, I don't know how perfect. The, the crust is gonna hold together. But. Well, the crust we just kind of threw out la last minute, <laughs> so I don't know. Don't worry about that. I'm not worried about the crust. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. That is a gorgeous slice of cake. All right, let's eat it. Let's eat it. But we also have we also have our coconut, coconut whipped, whipped cream. cream. It's if you a want little it. eaten. We ate. It. <laughs> it's really good. And usually you can just spread it on the top. But we're just gonna taste it without. Let me just taste it without. That's cheesecake. That is cheesecake. That's cheesecake. That's mm. really good cheesecake. It even has that little like on cheesecake it has like a little. Mm -hmm. Crusty kind of, not crust, but like a little film on the top. It even has that. And, and there's a crust. Yeah. Even with the, the peanut butter of the crust, mm -hmm. it works great. Because the, the texture is exactly as you would expect the texture to be for cheesecake, which is, has that little mm -hmm. kind of film, not film, but like crust on the top and the kind of dense softness of a cheesecake. Mm -hmm. If I was just eating this and I didn't know it was vegan, I would not know it was vegan. Um. You could probably serve this with some fruit on top of it. I definitely recommend the cashew whipping cream. Get it. It's delicious. So that's our vegan cheesecake. It's delicious. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because Jazz has to go to college. And college is really expensive. Mm -hmm. And tell your friends. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Oh, this is so good. It's really good. You should call it, um, it's not cheese. Mm -hmm. You should say. Hey guys, I'm trying to take beach cake. Beach cake. Beach cake. Vegan shit cake. Oh my god, I'm not helping. Because it's we should call it the uncheese cake. Uncheese. There's no cheese in the cake. So not not cheese cake. Vegan cheese cake. We should call it the cake that's not cheese. No. <laughs>